Hi everyone, Brittany from Just Be Crafty. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a crochet foundation chain. I'm also going to cover how to hold your yarn and get comfortable with tension. Honestly, when learning to crochet, this is the hardest part. Once you get the yarn comfortable in your hands and really nail down the foundation chain, you'll be well on your way to crocheting. So typically, the most challenging parts of learning to crochet is learning to hold and control the yarn and hook, making the foundation chain, and crocheting the first row of a project. Once you get those skills down, it's really smoother sailing. It's really all about getting that muscle memory to really be able to control your yarn and hook in a consistent way. It feels really difficult at first, but once you get it, it's like riding a bike. It just takes some practice to get there. But before you begin on your foundation chain, we must first start out with a slip knot, which I have right here. As you can see, my slip knot is already on my hook. I made a separate video with a complete tutorial on how to make a slip knot, so you'll want to check that out if you haven't already. I'll have that video linked here on the screen as well as in the video description. Before we get started on our foundation chain, I want us to get comfortable with holding our hook and yarn. Let's get comfortable holding our crochet hook. There are different holds and it's best for you to practice and find which works best for you. A couple popular holds are the knife hold, which you hold your hook as if you're holding a knife. I find this to be the most comfortable for me personally. There's also the pencil hold, where you'll hold the hook as if you're holding a pencil. And there's also an overhand grip. I feel like that would probably hurt my wrist if I held my hook that way. Once again, you need to play around with what works best for you. One thing to keep in mind as you're working your chains, you want to have a light hold on your crochet hook and not a tight grip and let the weight of the hook do most of the work. Now let's talk about holding our yarn. Take your pinky and grab the yarn and secure it between your pinky and ring finger. And stabilize the slip knot on your hook with your pointer finger. Flip your hand over so that the back of your hand is now facing upward and place your pointer finger under the yarn that is feeding to your hook. That is how to hold your yarn and hook to crochet. Let's call this the crochet position. So let's get comfortable here. Secure the slip knot on your hook with your pointer finger and give your yarn a few gentle tugs to get a feel for this position. Take your hands out of the yarn and let's do that again. Take your pinky and grab the yarn, flip your hand over so that your back hand faces up and put your pointer finger under the yarn feeding to the hook. Keep repeating this process. It's super important that you get comfortable with getting in and out of crochet position so that way you can easily jump back in after a pause or you can easily reposition to maintain your crochet tension. That's probably the most important part. Feel free to pause here and keep playing around with getting your hands into crochet position until you get ready to move on to making your foundation chain. Okay, so once you get a feel for how to hold your hook and yarn, we can move into making our first foundation chain. Get your hands into crochet position. And secure your pointer finger over the slip knot. Give a couple of tugs and pull on the tail to get comfortable with the yarn in your hands. You don't want to be too loosey-goosey, but you don't want to have a death grip. Just a comfortably firm hold. Wrap your yarn around your hook from back to front. Use your thumb and pointer finger to gently pull down on the yarn tail to give yourself a little leverage. Slightly tilt your crochet hook downward to catch the yarn on your hook and pull it through the loop that was already on your hook. You've just made your first foundation chain. Now, use your pointer finger to secure the loop on your hook and take your hand out of crochet position and reposition it. We are going to repeat this process. Wrap the yarn around your hook from back to front. Use your thumb and pointer finger to gently pull down on the chain off of your hook and on the yarn tail to give yourself a little bit of leverage and then pull the yarn through the loop on your hook. After you make a chain, you want to maintain its size and not accidentally pull it too tight. You can do this by using your pointer finger to hold the loop on your hook in place. 
The goal is for all of your chains to be the same exact size. You don't want them too tight and you don't want them too loose. They should be about the same size as the neck of the hook that we're using to create them. So as you go, don't be afraid to reposition your hook and hands every time you make a chain. It's in repeating this process that will get you comfortable with your hook and yarn. As you make your foundation chain and use yarn as you go, you'll be sliding your hand down the yarn and you'll feel your pinky controlling that tension. It's your pinky that will control the tension of your yarn and you'll use your pointer finger to feed the yarn to your hook. So to continue your foundation chain, you're going to just keep repeating this process. I highly recommend setting yourself a 10 or even 15 minute timer and just practice chaining until your timer goes off. Give yourself a break and then try again. As you keep chaining, you'll eventually find your rhythm and it will become a more comfortable and fluid motion. Just remember to be patient with yourself and don't have in mind to make a project right away. This is a foundational skill to crocheting and it takes a lot of time to get there. You may actually pick this up super fast. For me, this was a really slow process. It literally took me all day, like I think an entire eight hours for me to figure out how to hold my yarn, control my yarn, and make a somewhat consistent chain. I think it's also important to manage your expectations. Your first foundation chain is not gonna be the most beautiful thing that you've ever done, but if you have faith that every time that you do it, you will get better, having that mindset makes learning a new skill like this a lot easier. So I really hope you found today's tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.